Carcon Carne, the way this podcast works is every week I would go to a different location in a car and meet a guest. We'd hang out, we'd get food to go, we'd sit in the car, we'd talk, we'd eat food. We're living under quarantine. It's a time of COVID-19. The pandemic is here. It is very real. We are sheltering at home. So Car Con Carne is Quarantine Con Carne, sponsored by <laughs> TNH Financial Services. Visit freeprocessingnow.com or call 855-600-2437, extension 999, to start saving money today. Joining me across the vast expanse of the World Wide Web is the band Letdown. I have Blake and Billy on the other end of this podcast. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. What's going on? And uh, you, you took the, me- the idea of the podcast to heart. You're eating. Are you, what, do you, yeah. what do you got there? Where's this? What's this place called? Granite City. Granite City. And we got burgers from Granite City. We got City. burgers from Granite City. Can you show me? Whenever, whenever somebody said food was involved, I was all about it. Very nice. Yeah, that looks good, that, a good feisty boy right here, you know. That looks substantial. And did I see a bloody in there too? Mm. We can't go wrong without the bloody Mary. Oh yeah, no, you're not playing games there. That's the real thing. You got the salted rim, the celery salt on the rim. You know, during quarantine, there's only one way to do it, and that way is right. You know. <laughs> That's right. So are you in Fort Wayne right now? Yeah. Yep, Fort Wayne, Indiana. All right, so let's back up a little bit. Let's get a little letdown history. Started in Dallas. Yep. As band trajectories go, you don't often see a band start in Dallas and go to Fort Wayne. <laughs> it's usually the opposite. Yeah, honestly. No, um, how do we meet? Okay, well, we met through, <laughs> we met through a mutual friend. We met, we met through a mutual friend. Um, who was actually the old drummer of the band. Um, you were his sales engineer for yeah. Sweetwater. So I work at Sweetwater. I'm a sales engineer. All right, so you know everything about gear? I wouldn't say everything, but I know a decent amount. More than the average person. Okay, there. It's my job to know a lot. I thought I knew everything about gear. <laughs> it's, I, I, I literally get paid to know a lot, so <laughs> I'm, I'm doing okay. Um, but yeah, so we're not going to mention any names here, but... Um, I uh, met the former drummer um, just being a sales engineer. He actually was um, a customer of a different sales engineer, and um, he was just generally always busy. So whenever said sales engineer was busy, I would get a phone call, and um, I would just talk away, just do my thing, right? Um, We eventually became, uh, you know, decent friends, and um, yeah, kind of just stemmed from there. Uh, We gave each other personal numbers. Yeah, and then they, um, we ended up having Billy come down to be a part of the band in Texas. We wanted him to move down there, and then as talk kind of went on, I, d- I, I ended up in Fort Wayne, dude. <laughs> Save me. <laughs> Save me. <laughs> that's, the head- that's the headline for this episode. Yeah. I ended up in Fort Wayne, dude. Yeah. Save me. <laughs> Done. The letdown story. Yeah. That well, was, I, but it, it was that. It, it was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. I warned you. I literally up front told you it was going to be this way, but you still did it. So and for people who fine. haven't heard your band yet, uh, you are going to play bef- over a web chat, which is super cool. So we'll get a taste of what Letdown is. I'm worried that with your name Letdown, you're kind of managing people's expectations. Like, well, you know, they're okay. They go up, you know. <laughs> and if they if they leave thinking. Eh, it was in the name, you know? Yeah. Right. You're managing expectations. You can't, you cannot be disappointed. My philosophy was always to be a pessimist. <laughs> I, I think, well, you actually belong in the Midwest then. I think that's part of the Midwestern psyche. Like in Chicago, like cynicism and pessimism, that, that's, that's our fuel. So welcome to Indiana. Fuel. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to the Midwest. Uh, foreveraletdown.com is the website. Uh, it seems like got a nice head of steam, so to speak, gathered for yourself right out of the gate. Uh, Spotlight got you a lot of attention. Spotlight's the kind of song you listen. Are you going to play that one? Yeah, that's the, yeah, that's the one we're going to do for acoustic for you. Spotlight is one of those songs you hear. The first time I heard it, I thought, where have I heard this? This sounds so familiar. Like there's a certain comforting, like the, it, it, it hits all the right notes. It feels instantly familiar, but it's something brand new. And that's what I love about it. I mean, this is rock. I, I hear that song and... I'm kind of taken back sonically to maybe early 2000s, early to mid 2000s. A lot of the sounds that came out of that period. Am I off base? Not now. Oh yeah, I think you're right on right on the mark there. The nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. 
I mean, you're a handsome man. Well, I mean, I'm going to keep f f throwing compliments your way. Oh, you're yeah. a handsome man. Uh, I, I love what you've done with the place. Your yeah. head's going to be so big. I know. I can't wait. It's crazy. Uh, and then Fool's, Go Fool's Gold uh, followed that. I've got to assume there's a lot more on the way, right? I mean, they, I feel like we haven't heard enough of Letdown at this point. Um, it's just yeah. like teases. It's like getting a taste spoon at the Baskin Robbins. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a lot of material out there. Um, a lot. Well, a lot of material. Out there as in our Dropbox. Yeah, as in sitting in my Dropbox. Um, it just comes down to planning when to release and how to release and yeah. everything. Our, and now that everything's kind of blown to shit right now, it's really hard to probably... It's really hard to do anything. You know, everything's got to be completely over the web. And I like to release stuff with music videos. It's kind of hard to do a music video when you have no places to rent. Sure. You know, and I don't think we're going to yeah. do an apartment. We, uh, we could... Not with that attitude. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't per se involve the hot chick from Spotlight, right? If you're quarantined at home, I mean, it, you're kind of right. neutered for the uh, options you have. We should, I mean, quarantine video though. We could all wear like the quarantine suits. How's that? We could do everything we would normal do it, normally do in a music video at the normal places, just wearing hazmat suits. We should do this. Have a hazmat quarantine video. Like uh, go grocery shopping in a hazmat suit? I would do it sooner than later because someone else will have that idea. Mm. Got to move quick on this stuff. So talking about launching a band, launching new music, it's challenging to start with. Right as you're speeding out of the gate with these two songs, we're under quarantine. COVID-19 is omnipresent. We are sheltering at home. We're staying the fuck away from one another. <laughs> how, how does that, how does that, how, first of all, how are you coping with this? Sheltering at home, actually, you seem to be doing okay. You're managing all right tonight. A lot of alcohol, um, <laughs> for me. At least. For him. Um, See, I'm, I'm actually still working. Yeah, I'm he's working, actually still out in I'm the gonna field. Pay, I'm going to be working from home starting on Wednesday. I've been but working. you're not even working from home yet. No, not yet. Wow, okay. Yeah. We I, I, hope you're taking, I hope you're taking good care as you're out, out in the world. You're washing your hands like Howard Hughes and... <laughs> Yeah, doing my darndest here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> doing my darndest. Doing my darndest. Doing my diligence here. Um, yeah, so I mean, I'm actually kind of looking forward to the quarantine because it gives us a lot of time to focus mental energy on whatever it is we need to be doing as far as music goes. Um, I'm going fucking nuts. Well, already. I hate this. You've been juggling. I just, I moved from Dallas to Fort Wayne a week ago, and now I'm not allowed. Well, that recently. I thought it was a while yeah. ago. Oh wow! Almost okay. Ago, right? Yeah, almost two weeks. Bro. Wow. And so yeah. like, they're like, now you can't leave, and all the bars are closed. Yep. <laughs> You're yeah. missing all that sweet Fort Wayne nightlife. <laughs> what are yeah. yeah? All all one. Oh yeah, all all two bars. <laughs> yeah. High quality content. <laughs> High quality content. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about rock. Let's talk about guitars. Let's talk about that <laughs> yeah. that that combination of guitar, bass, drum, singer. It seems like as pop culture has gone, rock has been the redheaded stepchild. Rock, rock hasn't really been the genre in favor for a while. What do we have to do to get rock back in the forefront of everyone's thinking? Um, are, are you seeing the same things I'm seeing? I feel like rock's kind of making its way back in yeah. right now. When we were just talking about Falling in Reverse, about how, I don't know, they're just number one on the charts. Yeah, they're topping almost all yeah. the charts for a lot of genres right Wait, now. Like, Even pop genre, and they're I a know. metal band. Yeah. The, like, and they're on the top of all the Billboard charts. Like you and I grew up with billions and billions of views. And stuff too. Like, Ronnie Rex is no, no pop like artist. Rock, rock sure. might be on its upswing. You got yeah. Beartooth. They're really doing it. Yeah. They went back to like this rock and roll rock. Yeah, and totally. Yeah. I Jeez. just think, um, I think the edginess is like where the roots are coming from, and everybody's down with that. Mm-hmm. Because of the whole vibe. You know? Especially now, all rock is being mixed with like a bunch of pop influences and yeah, stuff. Yeah, totally. Too. And a lot of pop influenced people have roots in that. Which exactly. Is Absolutely. Like, that's Absolutely true. Where, like, the whole thing comes from. So that's why I feel like um, whatever it is that we have, uh, people can eventually you know resonate with it. So I ask this of every band I, I've been talking to in general, but also specifically during this quarantine period: How can bands support you? You're not on the road. You're not doing gigs. Mm -hmm. um, do you have merch available on foreverletdown.com? How can people throw their support behind you? If they go there see your YouTube videos. Yeah. There will be merch available. Yeah, we have um, the designs already. In a, a few days, right? 
Yeah. I feel like three or four days. Yeah. I don't have a date on that, actually. You right. really are a freshly minted band. Yeah, we're brand new. We're you, you have that new band smell. Yeah. Similar to that's a what that, That's what that smell was. Yeah. I thought it was body wash, but guess not. Sent by Blake. As we, <laughs> another question I ask of a lot of people in this time. As we're stuck at home, what movie would you recommend people watch? Like, do you have a, do you have a go to like I'm feeling crappy? I just got to put this movie on. More like a TV show. For yeah, me. and that's definitely The Office. <laughs> yep. <laughs> for him, I'm a huge like massive anime dork, so I do not care. I will just recommend anime all day. <laughs> well, recommend one. Um, Hunter x Hunter is a super fun one. Oh, and also Full Bro- Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. And that's kind of our collective favorite show of all time. That's a good. It's good. so. Good. It's just so good. <laughs> That's just a good it's series. It's like ten all out of ten. Would recommend. Is Castlevania technically an anime? Yeah. That one was good. Yeah. That one's new on Netflix, right? Uh, newer. New. The newest new season. Ish. <laughs> new ish. That's a good one. I do agree with you though about The Office is a good go to. I just. I, I can it, put The Office on at any time of the day for any reason. Totally it's, get it. I, I just rewatched for my first time in years, the Toby's last episode where he had his exit interview with Michael Scott. And Michael sits him down for the exit interview. And the first question is, who do you think you are? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he reads his number. Who do you think you are? <laughs> and then the follow-up question is, what gives you the right? <laughs> All right, so fuck, Michael. <laughs> I like when he calls Toby an evil snail. <laughs> you're right. Any, any given circumstance, you could throw that on and you're good. You're, you're good for at least 30 minutes watching any episode of that. It's definitely my house cleaning TV show to put on, right? Yeah. So in the midst of all of this, while I'm at work, Blake is unable to get a job because everybody's quarantined here. Right. So he's a husband. It's great. I've been a, a loyal house husband. It's been great. I'm proud of you. Thank you. you I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you. I'm proud honestly. of you. I'm glad we're all proud. This is the most work I've ever done. Really? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the band is Let Down. Foreveraletdown.com is where we find you. Uh, we are at the early stages, the the beginning stages of you taking flight. Those two songs I mentioned, Spotlight and Fool's Gold, that's it. I mean, you, you've you got it figured out. And it really is a tease. I want to hear more stuff from you. So whenever this passes us by, I can't wait to hear what you uh, roll out behind it. Well, we do have a song called uh, Sober coming out on April 10th. Yeah. Excellent. There we go. Um, we're going to start teasing that in a few days. Yeah, actually. we've already teased it one time. We did tease it a little bit one time. Oh, we did, we did. Yeah, everybody loved it. But there's going to be an official tease. Tons of comments. Soon. Yeah. But I'm really excited April about 10th, that. So that one's my favorite one to play live, too. That is a good super song. Fun. I enjoy it. Yeah. So we'll keep an eye on what's going on with you so we can actually see you plugged in, bring in the rock. And since Chicago, I don't, I want to say Chicago's maybe three hours from where you are. Just it's about. Somewhere. It's really not too far. Yeah, about three, right? Yeah. Pretty simple trip. Uh, yeah. But since we're so close, I would imagine we will see you once this all passes. We'll oh, be yeah. able to see you. the first place I want to play. Yeah. That's the goal. I want to go straight to Chicago. Yeah. Well, there's not like where there's many places to play here. There's nowhere to play here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to Chicago. That moral Chicago. Is, we'll be, we'll be Chicago it is. Yeah. There's that one bar with that stage that can fit a drummer. Yeah. <laughs> well, two-thirds of a drummer. Two-thirds of a drummer. <laughs> The hi-hat. <laughs> Just the hi-hat stand. All right. I know it's okay. awkward and weird and unnatural, but how do you feel about playing a song acoustically over this web chat? Not even weird at all. I could do it. You could do it. All right. So it's Let Down, doing Spotlight from the your Sanctum Sanctorum, your, your hidden lair in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, ba- Blake's House of Babes, actually, is what I call Blake's it. House of Babes. My Perfect. My name is on the lease. <laughs> they don't know that, okay? Well, now they, they do. do. <laughs> Thank you guys for doing this. Seriously. It's our pleasure. Yeah, I'm stoked about it. Yeah, it's probably the coolest thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> that can't lie. possibly be true. All right, it is Let Down Live. I'm going to keep talking as they get their gear ready. Uh, Carcon Carne is sponsored by C&H Financial Services. That is let down forever, a letdown.com. Car con carne, for all intents and purposes, is quarantine con carne for the foreseeable future. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Uh, more to come tomorrow night as we are now nightly. And with that, they're ready. It is let down.
to pieces But I ain't thinking about it lately Told me what I'm taking on the man Told me what's enough to me now, baby I don't want to make sure you're to see I don't want to have to see that ending That's all the mouth the past for me That was great. That was kind of